Hi, I'm Hub Arkus, along with Pro Football Weekly senior editor Mike Wilkening. And Wilkie covers the AFC North for us, as well as the Detroit Lions. And so, as we continue our series of 32 NFL team training camp opening reports, let's start with the Detroit Lions. And Mike, here's a team that exploded last year. 11 wins. They took it close to the Saints in the playoffs. Couldn't get past that first week. But as we said with the Houston Texans and other reports, sometimes it's easier to get to the playoffs than stay there. What are the key off-season moves, both free agency and the draft, that are going to help the Lions stay a playoff team? Really, they were most active in the draft. I think when you look primarily in round three at Dwight Bentley, who could start a corner right off the bat. Riley Reef in round one, the tackle, he might be the future replacement for Jeff Backus. Ryan Broyles, longer term, coming off the ACL injury, is a guy to keep an eye on. But really, it's going to be via the draft is where this team might take a leap forward. And I think you look maybe at first at that third rounder in Dwight Bentley. You know, as they go to training camp and focus on the offense, so much talk about what a high-powered offense it is. But I think also pretty obvious where this team has got to get better if they're going to play with the big boys. They've got to run the ball better. They didn't have that aspect of the game last year, and a lot of that had to do with injuries. The job at best, the concussions. Michael LaShore was never in the picture because of the Achilles injury. They need that element. I mean, really, listen, the, the Matthew Stafford, Calvin Johnson connection is wonderful. You've got to be able to run the ball to close out games a little bit better than Detroit did last year. Well, the thing that's curious is best comes back with the concussion history, LaShore with the off-the-field problems. They didn't make changes at the position, so maybe the training camp focus is keep them healthy and keep them out of trouble. Defensively, there's plenty of area for improvement on this ball club. What will be their primary concern in training camp? They've got to get better versus the pass. They also have to be stronger versus the run too, but the pass is the big issue. They really faltered against top competition late last year, but you know this is a defense. When they're getting to the quarterback, forcing turnovers, it's a wonderful thing. When they're not, it's a little problematic. Now, we're looking for veteran players on every roster who can take a big step forward, maybe really help this team improve. Who would it be with the Detroit Lions? Titus Young's the guy that jumps off the page. Uh, he's going to get a lot of opportunities in this offense. Fast guy, you know the defenses are going to be trying to double-team Calvin Johnson. That's what they should be doing. Titus Young's a kind of an outside candidate for a thousand yards this year, I think. Nick Fairley's the other guy to keep an eye on, but obviously a couple off-field issues for him. One of the fun cliches people use about the NFL is not for long. We know there's a few veterans who are on the bubble who should be careful in training camp with the Lions. You know, I think you keep an eye on a guy like Stefan Logan, who's uh, been a veteran returner for many years. I think he's got to show some more versatility and play well at the returner spot. You know, Aaron Barry is an interesting guy because Probably going to compete for a starting job there, but the off-field issue for him, Jason Fox, he'd like to see the backup tackle there stay a little bit more healthy this season. All right, Mike, huge training camp for the Detroit Lions for all 32 of our NFL team training camp opening reports, as well as all the news, notes, and analysis as it happens. Stay right where you're at at ProFootballWeekly.com, 24 hours a day, 7 days a week.